Welcome to our presentation of Painting VR. My name is uh, Stan Groten. I'm the art director for Painting VR. And I'm joined here with um, Wim and Xander in the studio. Hey. Um, they've just hate uh, to everyone. So right now I'm in our uh, huge environment, uh, which is um, where all the magic happens. Um, and this is painting VR. So when you start out, you are welcomed by a gigantic white canvas, which could be very scary. Um, but the whole point of painting VR is to take away that fear of uh, maybe ruining a beautiful canvas or ruining your very expensive paints. Um, yeah, so you can just walk up to the brushes, you pick them up, you walk up to the canvas, and uh, you start painting. Um, I am going to say uh, to everyone uh, that what I'm showing you is a, um, a work in progress. Um, so everything you see, uh, all the features, uh, they might be uh, changed in the final version. So just keep that in mind. Um, and it's also different from the early access builds that you can uh, buy uh, at this point. Um, so what uh, what should we do? I think I think what I'm gonna do is um, just because even for me it is a very big wide surface. Uh, so as you can see, to make it easier to start off, I can make the canvas a bit smaller, and I can just start painting. So uh, keep in mind these dots. <laughs> this is just a developer. Uh, easy testing thing. So we have these amazing pots of paint. I can just dip my brush in the pot and uh, that's it. I can start painting. Um, I mean, that's that's the point of painting VR, right? We want to invite you to just be creative, to explore, uh, to have fun. Um, if you are a very good painter, we have a few uh, amazing artists in our uh, Discord community. Um, and I've seen people make work that uh, makes me, well, let's not say jealous, but at least uh, wanting to improve on my own skills because uh, it's, it's just amazing what some people can do. But it, it shouldn't scare you. So as you can see, like, I'm just painting, and if I'm happy with this, well, then I can keep going, but if I'm not, well, then there is really no problem. Um, let's say I'm not happy. I can just make it even smaller, and let's just, let's just get rid of it. As you can see, we have tools for lazy people. I can just extend my brush, uh, and as... I'm going to show you like a, a few tricks that we have, uh, which makes it, makes it of course different than real life painting. Uh, let's just start a, a new canvas. Um, so as you can see, we, we've got some work to do, like the, the, e the ease of use of the, of the menu and, and, and all of that. That's all going to be worked on. Right now, we are focusing on um, making sure that painting feels amazing. So that when you are painting on the canvas, that it really feels just fun to, to have some colors. You can color pick. Uh, and keep on making like these really nice, smooth gradients. Um, and that is the main focus that we're working on right now, like making sure that feels super good. Uh, apart from that, we are going to have like a few bigger ideas, which are to include like a multiplayer. Um, so that you could 
visit each other. So like maybe a friend of mine could walk in and uh, we can just hang out while I'm painting. Um, but you could also like help me with, uh, with some feedback and uh, whatnot. Um, I'm just going to start drawing something that I actually want to draw because right now I'm just mixing some colors. Let's just draw something fun. Okay, I'm gonna go take a new brush. We also have like, let's just, let's just break the canvas. I mean, we have a, a brush which actually says warning unstable. I can just splatter some colors on my canvas to have something to work with. Um, well, uh, I touched it, so why not just use it, right? If I make this the biggest canvas I can, uh, this is how we used to get some color on the canvas before uh, by just using this amazing giant roller. Uh, as you can see, you can mix all the colors as much as you want. Okay, okay, okay enough of this because uh, actually I can get lost in just filling the color the canvas with some color uh, because yeah I don't have to throw anything away um, I am myself a digital artist um, so I'm used to it but I'm not used to be able to work on like gigantic canvases uh, and that's that's really fun like to do this in in real life would be much more complicated and honestly I wouldn't be able to afford a, a canvas this size, probably. So let's just, I don't know. Let's paint something silly. Let's make a bird or something. And I'll just pretend I didn't think of this before the stream. Um, yeah, so um, I don't know if, uh, if people are actually watching the stream, if they're able to ask questions, um, but should there be any questions, uh, just put them in the chat, and I'm sure uh, Alexander or Wim will uh, let me know. Um, maybe some questions you could have uh, are, <laughs> like, uh, are you able to save your work? Are you able to export it? Um, yes, you can. Like, I can save this beautiful bird. Bird. Okay, and uh, so like if I then make a mistake, I can just say like, oh no, I want to to load my beautiful bird, and I loaded my beautiful bird, right? So yeah, you have the a lot of advantages. I'm going to come forward with. When we started, we wanted this to be something which was like very zen and there's no undo. And, and then we started to see like, yeah, maybe people like undo. So we're thinking about it. Um, I'm not going to say that we are, uh, we are not taking in account uh, what, people, what people are asking. Uh, so we definitely do that. We talk a lot with the community on Discord. And uh, many of the features that we are going to be implementing, um, well, they're just, first of all, common sense. And uh, apart from that, um, we're also just hearing, hearing the voices of the people that use this, right? Uh, because it is available. Uh, it is available on the App Lab, on the Oculus App Lab. Um, so you can buy it, you can use it. There's like the resizing of the canvas that's not going to be in there, but uh, you can already have fun. From September, it's going to be there. Okay. Okay. There's a website paintingvr.xyz. I'll. You know what? I'm going to make it super easy for everyone. I'm just going to write
I don't know if I'm going to write it correctly. Pain ting vr dot x y z. All right, that's the website. Um, yeah, and let's get back to our bird character. Uh, so one of the most fun parts of this is of course, like you can just, you can just try it out. If you don't like it, you start over. There's no pressure. Not even if maybe hundreds of people are watching you on a live stream, there is no pressure. Um, but imagine like just being at home and uh, putting on the glasses like your your quests and a, a few moments later you're painting, right? So that's super fun. Uh, sorry for the car. I don't know if you, uh, if people are going to hear this on the stream, but uh, I guess you might just have seen my amazing uh, colleague Xander, who is the main developer, the head developer of uh, Painting VR, who is also, let's call it the father of the virtual baby. Um, he, together with uh, Wim, they created like this uh, super cool VR experience for the the artist Na, who's like this super cool drummer. And um, I think they did some crazy stuff where you could be writing with, let's say, ketchup on the walls. Um, and uh, it was so much fun that Xander was just like, you know what, I want to see if I can take this a bit further. And uh, he did, and and a few, well, a few uh, a few months, weeks later, uh, he actually started to have a very nice painting app, and um, that's what we're going to be keeping in development for the next few months, maybe years. Um, yeah, please do come visit our Discord. Uh, the people on there, they're they've already built like a super nice community um uh, they're helping each other you you can learn to paint if you never painted before um the the people are super nice uh, i have to say that um we do a lot a lot of fun stuff as well like we do try to challenge uh, the users uh, into making some uh, cool art and um yeah, we we tend to be there. Uh, mostly Wim and Xander tend to be there. Uh, I um I'm 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 a pretty good newbie at uh, at uh, everything that's Discord. Um Okay, so I think I have like a, a little bit of a base. Maybe the eggshell needs some love. A little bit of love. I can't I'm I'm pretty sure I can't say like a happy little eggshell. That's probably, that's probably like, uh, yep, there we go. Well, you've just, okay, well, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to finish the eggshell. Maybe need some, need some little bit. Okay. All right. Okay. So. I'm a little birdie. I'm super happy with him, but I don't think he's got enough color. And I'm now going to make sure that I can really mix those colors in. Let's get some yellow. I guess yellow is going to make this super cool. And as you can see, like the more you're painting, the more the color is going to be mixing. And this is something really new. That's uh, people that are already using uh, painting VR. I'm pretty sure you're all going to be amazed at seeing what I'm doing here. Um, it's it's so much fun to do this, like really. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a, 
a streamer or somebody who is used to paint live. So um, I might, I am feeling a bit awkward, uh, but still like knowing that I cannot really make any mistakes or uh, it's, it's so liberating. It's really fun. Okay, the beak. The beak is just black and white. We have to do something about that, right? Um, yeah, so I don't know if uh, there's questions. Maybe there's some questions. Uh, yes, question, but maybe there's questions you guys anticipated and that I can answer anyway, even if they're not. No, isn't there anything you guys... The... Okay. Ah, okay, okay. So they just told me that they can't see any any questions, um, but that's okay. Uh, I just want to thank Indiegogo for uh, giving us some Indigo. Yes, I was just <laughs> I've been painting Indiegogo as a joke all the time, and uh, I can't get it out of my mind now. But I really want to thank you guys for giving us the opportunity to uh, showcase uh, what we're uh, doing here. And um, yeah, uh, I would say come and, uh, come and join, uh, join us on the Discord. Yes, of course. OK. A little bit more blur. So we do have like a few of those brush options. Um, we're not. Like we don't feel that they're like completely ready yet. We're gonna be working on that as well. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it already feels amazing to be able to paint in a feeling that's like wet on wet paint and then change a few options on your brush and just paint again as if you've dried out your paint and go for that super graphical look because well it's just a bit easier right it is just a little bit easier to make it look cool 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 where's my where's my black black okay uh i think the bird is He's looking great. He's happy, you know. Um, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love it. I love it. This is flying, you know. Painting VR, Indigo. Thank you. Um, oh, yes, yes. I, they're telling me keep, keep on going. Keep on going. Oh, yes, yes. Let's make some happy little clouds, right? That's what, that's what. <laughs> say say his name oh okay i'm just gonna make it really s small well i mean bob ross is an amazing painter i like him he's able to make people enjoy painting and that's um that's what it's all about right don't be scared of making stuff. We don't all have to be professional artists to enjoy painting. Oh, I just destroyed a little bird. Oh my God, no. Oh. Well, anyway, that's also the fun part of, of this is that. And that's a bit why we didn't want the undo button. It's like, well, learn to accept that you're gonna make mistakes. And it's and it's okay. You just you just pick up the brush again and then you very very gently try to fix your mistake. Oof. I mean that feels like a mistake that's been fixed, right? Ah yes, little clouds. Little clouds for the bird. Okay, um, you know what we also have? We have a brush that's completely broken. It says big block brush, warning, unstable. 
what do they mean? I don't know. Well, let's see what it does. So if you put it on the canvas, it's just going to go crazy because it's unstable. Oh, the birdie. Well, goodbye, bird. But of course, if you combine the unstableness of this with the laziness of the extended brush, you can make some really cool stuff. Okay, cool enough. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Oh. Ah, is it done?